Well, this is so exciting. Valentine's Day is around the corner, so of course we're talking chocolate. I've got Chef Sandra Abale here. Now check this out. Chef Abale is responsible for this amazing creation. That, my friend, is all chocolate. Isn't that remarkable? And was this what won you uh, uh, at the competition that allowed you to win at the uh, Chocolate Masters competition? Well, that was one, one of the many components that I had to make at the competition. What do you call this? This is the what uh, competition? The World Chocolate Masters. No, but I'm sorry. This one component is the... It's the chocolate showpiece component. Showpiece, okay. And uh, my showpiece was entitled The Apple Tree. Very nice. And apples have something to do with what we're going to make today, right? That's right. Because this is also a winning recipe that you've brought for us. Congratulations. Yes, so How exciting. At the competition, I was awarded Canada's Best Molded Bonbon which you're going to try today. Yay! So I'm going to take you through some of the steps of how I make it. Okay. Molded bonbon. All right. So if you see here, this is the actual mold that we cast the chocolate in. Okay. And how I got this beautiful red stripe down the chocolate is by using something as simple as tape. Aha. Uh -huh. So you've pre-taped part of the mold. So that section of the chocolate will not have whatever the color is that you that's put right. in there, right? That's right. So we'll it's like you know what that's like? It's like using crayons on eggs when you're making Easter eggs. Yes, the exactly. The color doesn't get into the part that has the crayon on exactly. it. Exactly. So you can see here, I've take the I've taken the tape off and you can see how um, the gold is everywhere. So you but sprayed it. I sprayed it. You spray the mold. Yeah. I see. So it's sprayed with colored cocoa butter. Cool. All edible, all safe. And then in this mold here, I went ahead and I sprayed a layer of red and then a layer of white, which really makes the color pop. So underneath that is the gold as well? Underneath here is the gold, okay. and then a layer of red, and then a layer of white. Aha. And so that allows the red to shine through. That's right. Underneath the gold. Exactly. That is so cool. So that's a multi-step process. Yes. How yeah, long does it take? It's all done by hand. Really? Yeah. So you've got special sprayers and special uh, equipment to help you do that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, so right. I'm going to go ahead and show you how we actually make the mold. Yeah. What so kind of chocolate do you use? I use all Cocoa Berry Calibo chocolate. Okay. Oh, and you see that? I see that in the store sometimes. It's expensive. But it's excellent quality. Is it? Okay, yes, well, now and it's I know. delicious. And once you try it, you'll understand what I mean. Okay. And actually, if you want to go ahead, you can sample some right here. Oh, And this is, uh, this is the milk. Milk chocolate. So okay. in this warmer here, I have a combination of milk and dark to kind of cut a little bit of the sweetness. Mmm, so that's the milk. And then you've got a little bit of dark too. Okay, let me go here. I don't want to piss up, miss an opportunity to eat chocolate. <laughs> Oh, just melt in your mouth. Does it stir differently? Does it work? I mean, do you, does it uh, do things differently than other cheaper chocolate? Uh, it, yeah, it definitely works a little bit differently, but, um, but more so what we're concerned about is the flavor okay, and the true taste of the cocoa bean coming through. So we're just filling all of the cavities here. And then What's this device called? This is a chocolate warmer. Okay. Can I do so, anything? Else? Yeah, could I just get you to just grab that Absolutely. out of the way? Thank you so much. So we're just gonna give it a quick little bang here. Get out all the air pockets. When did and you one start work? Oh, oh, that's easy. That's a nice way to clean it. Yeah, just like that. When did you start working with chocolate? About two years ago. What made you decide to do that? Because I love chocolate. <laughs> How can you not? Of course. Right? Right? So we're just going to give it a quick little tap. So these will be solid chocolate bonbons? No, nope, we're oh. going to fill them. Oh, now you're dumping it all out. Yeah, we're dumping it all out. So this is just, just to get the shell. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you come home smelling of chocolate? Um, sometimes. <laughs> Can you imagine, if you work with fried chicken all day, you'd come home smelling fried chicken. I'm sure your family wouldn't enjoy that. But when you come home smelling like chocolate, it'd be awesome. So I'm just going to grab my tray behind me here. And so that's the shell we have. Okay. 
Okay, we're and just going to set it up upside down. The, everything's coated uh, so evenly. Is that because these are the right type of um, frame? The mold it's, is... Yeah, the frame and also a lot of practice. Okay. Yeah, everything's <laughs> You get the hand of it and you're able to hold it in the right way and to take out just the right amount of chocolate so you get an even shell. And when you bite into it, you get that beautiful crunchy layer. Because I try, the reason I ask is I tried to make my own filled chocolates, and the shell was so uneven, it was cracking in spots, and it was a mess. That looks, of course, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So we're just going to set this aside. Okay. And, and we're going to let that uh, let that dry for a bit, and okay. I can take that from you. All right. And while we let that dry, I'm going to show you how we make the filling. Yay. Okay. So inside the bonbon is a layer of, um, we have it here actually, so you have a better understanding of what is inside. Oh, all right. So the shell is the chocolate, right? And then under that, caramelized, crunchy apples and peanuts. Now what made you decide to do an apple flavored bonbon? Throughout the competition, I stuck with apple as my, uh, as my constant. And then under the apple, uh, salted peanut butter ganache. Oh my God, so right now we're making the salted peanut butter ganache. Oh, right. So I have the chocolate ready in the bowl. Um, I have my homemade peanut butter that I made. Nice. And some fleur de sel. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring the cream up to a steam and we're gonna just pour it right over the chocolate. Brilliant. Oh, and, so um, you don't put the chocolate in the pot, it goes the other way. Exactly. A gentler exactly. melt. Yes, because oh. you don't want the, you don't want to burn the chocolate. No. So it, the chocolate can be very, Temperamental. So you can see how it's coming up nicely here. Mm -hmm. And what else is in there? This is, uh, there's a little bit of sugar. Sugar, okay. So interesting. Okay, so we're just going to pour it right over here. And if you want, you can go ahead and give that a stir. Oh, I would love that'd, to. That'd be great. And it just melts so beautifully. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and actually fill. We've got about a minute before we go to break. Okay. Will that give us enough time to fill a couple? Um, yeah, we can okay. do that. Am I stirring it properly? There's probably a whole technique to this. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. There's our perfectly set chocolate mold. So I'm just going to sneak behind you here because yep. I already made the apple peanut filling. Okay. Okay, so what I did here is I just caramelized uh, some apples and I blended it with some oven roasted peanuts. Very simple. That is simple. Okay, go ahead and fill a couple. We're going to have more with Sandra after the break and how she created her award-winning, what's, what's it called again? Salted caramel what? Apple peanut bonbon. Apple peanut bonbon. Nice. <laughs> we'll be right back. She's a world chocolate master. Chef Sandra Abale is here, and she has brought her award-winning bonbon. This is an incredible creation with apples and peanuts and, of course, chocolate. So you started uh, filling some of those. Yes, yeah, so before the break, we started filling the crunchy component, which is caramelized apples uh, mixed with peanuts. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and fill a little bit more here. And then on top of this, we're going to put the ganache that we just made. So this was what I had you stirring up here, mm -hmm. and this is our salted peanut butter ganache. And look, all she's done is put a plastic bag inside of a container to collect everything. You don't have to use a spoon. Oh, it's so messy if you try and use a spoon to do it. Absolutely. This way you create your own little funnel bag, right? Yep, and it's nice and easy, and it Just stays clean. Just leave that there, clean. I'll lick the bowl later. <laughs> So you ready to fill sure, some molds? Sure, I'll try one. Want to give it a go? So 
So we're looking to, to not fill them all the way. Okay. Because we're going to put another layer of chocolate right. on top of the molds. Okay. So I'll just show you one here. It's very liquidy. All right, I'll give it a try. You've got such great technique. <laughs> Look at you, that's great. Now, I can't wait. I want to see what the end result is. Please, we've only got, <laughs> we only got a few seconds. Oh, my goodness. This is the amazing creation right here. Let me bite into it. Mm. For more information, worldchocolatemasters.com. You are an artist. Mm. Go ahead and finish those off while I read this. Still to come on Daytime Toronto, Theatre Scarborough's production of Sweeney Todd, Family Dogs, and how you can train your dog to find your keys. A Valentine's soiree with Theatre 20 and Pal Canada. Rogers TV has live coverage of the Dominion Tanker 2013 Ontario Men's Curling Championship. It continues today at 2 p.m. with Team Runfelt versus Team Franz and Team Higgs versus Team Cochrane at 7 p.m. On February 10th, viewers can turn to Sportsnet for coverage of the semifinal and the final. Here's a taste of some tankered action. Nice job! Mm. How was it?